The street television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Eastern Armenia will withdraw a lawsuit. What is the declaration of Almaty? Has Russia recognized the genocide committed against Armenia? The European Union makes an incomprehensible proposal to the people of Artsakh. An 82-year-old citizen Stepan Agert on September 27 is not found yet. Ambassador of France expressed that they disagree with Iran on many issues but agree with Armenia. Cultural genocide in Stepan Agert. Eastern Armenia will withdraw the lawsuits and will confirm the rights of Baku. During the last week, the press of Eastern Armenia spread news that the Armenian side agreed to fulfill another obscure demand of Baku, that is to drop the lawsuit against Baku submitted to all international courts. Moreover, Baku does not give up its claims, but the elite of Eastern Armenia instructed the officials of the Armenian side to prepare applications to give up the claims against Baku. Experts as early as 2021 at the beginning they wrote that the government of Eastern Armenia prepares the lawsuit submitted to the international courts in such a way that Armenian political rights are executed, that Bagu is not suddenly blamed for the use of forced aggression and occupation, that the issues are considered only in humanitarian terms, and that Baku's right is recognized. However, Armenian rights are so obvious that Baku's rights are so zero, and that even the lawsuit drawn up in this way contradicts the LEF Pashinyan Putin Erdogan plans and threaten to bring a recognition of Armenian rights and condemnation of Baku. That's why Eastern Armenia withdraws the claims, even those drawn up in such a way. Against this background, Western Armenia continues to fight for the rights of Artsakh and the people of Artsakh. The office of the first president of Western Armenia, Armenia Gabrahamian, continues the legal proceedings regarding the material and physical damages caused to the forcibly displaced families from Artsakh. Armenia Gabrahamian continues to collect the applications and necessary documents from Artsakh citizens. Western Armenia is not afraid to declare that Artsakh has nothing to do with Baku and the meaning of the claims is to prove that Artsakh is Armenian and the people of Artsakh are indigenous. The Declaration of El Maata on establishing CIS in the agreement of 1991 on December 8 and in the Declaration of El Maata in 1991 on December 21st. Provisions of respect for territorial integrity and inviolability of borders stipulated in the Declaration of December 21 has nothing to do with the issue of what are the current borders between the CIS member states and what territory this or that state covers. Member states recognized each other's borders only in 1993, according to the CIS Charter adopted on January 10, 2, to which Baku was not a party. The clause respecting the inviolability of borders reflected in the El Maata Declaration has clear and ambitious contact and is essentially one of the important elements of the principles of territorial integrity. The principle of inviolability of borders referred to the prohibition of encroachment of the legal or de facto borders between states. In the context of disputed borders, prohibited bordering states from resolving border disputes through the U.S. force. The content of the principle of border inviolability includes the obligation of states to respect the existing border line in the place and not to allow the arbitrary movement of the border line in the place. The crossing of the border line without proper permission of outside the establishing rules. It also includes the rights of each sovereign state to control the crossing of borders by people and vehicles. Thus, both the principles of respect for territorial integrity and the principle of inviolability of borders don't and cannot answer the question of what is the territory of a given sovereign state and what the re includes. Therefore, it does not follow from El Maata's declaration that Armenia has recognized Artsakh as a part of Baku. Has Russia recognized the genocide committed against Armenia? The need to carry out legal research related to the genocide against Armenians is one of the most serious challenges facing the Armenian reality. For various objective and subjective reasons, for many years, the issues related to the genocide against Armenia were considered mainly in the light of the analysis of historical facts which did not allow to reveal and evaluate the interrelated nature and content of all the components of the genocide phenomenon and its consequences. The 109th date of the genocide against Armenian is not just a number. It is the line of this respect, arrogance, hatred of the descendants of the murderers, abusers and corpses, as well as those states and people who work to ignore this terrible tragedy, or what is worse, to resist and deny the fact that are recorded in blood in history on the plaques. 
against this background. However, the views of Russian politicians and society have not changed significantly, leaving the topic of genocide to the Armenians themselves. And the efforts of the pro-Turkish forces in terms of denying the genocide on the contrary have been strengthened by what the public prefers to, to close their eyes on. The main message, we don't want to complicate international relations through the issue of genocide because by raising it we will hurt the feelings of Azeris and Turks living on the territory of Russia. Today we can state that as the 109th anniversary, which is regrettable for the Turks, is approaching, the pressure of the pro-Turkish lobby and Russian officials and the public became stronger. Advocates of such tolerance should often be reminded that we live in a legal environment where the exact wording of the Declaration of the State Duma of the Assembly of the Russian Federation of 1995 exists. April 14, which qualified the events of 1895-1922 as a genocide against Armenians. The results of this union were undermined by the recognition of the peace treaty of Sivars. The result was the predatory treaty of Alexandra Paul and the subsequent rapid Sovietization of Armenia. Although the government of Soviet Russia did not recognize the Treaty of Alexandra Paul, but under the Treaty of Moscow and then Kars, the government of Soviet Russia and its allies from Soviet Armenia essentially completed the partition of Armenia, giving Turkey more than 2,000 square kilometers of territory and giving Armenian inhabited Nakhiv Javan under the jurisdiction of Baku. You can learn more about the topic on the website of Western Armenian TV. In his speech at the 55th session of the UN Human Rights Council, the representative of the uh, European Union delegation referred to the situation of human rights in different parts of the world, including the ethnic cleansing carried out by Baku in Artsakh. In particular, it is said in the statement, the European Union underlies its continuous support for the establishment of a stable and lasting peace between Armenia and Baku based on the recognition of the principles of sovereignty, inviolability of borders and territorial integrity, in line with their commitment to the 1991 Elmata Declaration. The European Union remains fully committed to facilitating efforts towards this goal through the Brussels settlement process and calls on parties to engage in the process in good faith. The European Union equally emphasizes ensuring the rights and security of Artsakh Armenians, as well as the creation of conditions for the vulnerable, safe, dignified and sustainable return of refugees and displaced persons to Artsakh, in particular the right to live in dignity in their homes without intimidation or discrimination. In addition, the cultural heritage and property rights of local people must be effectively protected and guaranteed. In addition, full compliance with uh, the order of the United Nations International Court of Justice is extremely important. The representative of the European Union does not take into account that the indigenous Armenian population of Artsakh is sovereign on its territory, according to the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, which is adopted, confusion prevails. The events of September and the event that took place during it and the migration did not give the Emilian family rest for more than five months. Arab Emilian spoke to journalists about her father, 82-year-old Gavrush. No information about him since September 27. Arab Emilian noted that her father lived in the Martini region all his life and he is a doctor by profession, so he served Artsakh with all his professional abilities, working in the medical facilities of Martuni and the neighboring settlements. During the war, he joined his colleagues in the military hospital and saved hundreds of lives. He is the author of two books, one of the which dedicated to, the, to his friends of the White Army, and the other he documented heroic stories. The daughter told the journalist that on the afternoon of September 27, Gavrusha, having learned that one bakery was working in Stepanagar, decided to find and bring bread to the residents in the shelter. He left and did not return. Her family members informed all relevant structures in Stepanagar about Gavru's disappearance. Searches were initiated but did not yield results. In a few days, they will also move to Eastern Armenia. I have said that she and her sister turned from her here to the rescue who were still in Artsakh at that time and then to the Red Cross. The data of Artsakh citizens registered in Sunik and Vyodzor regions were identified. Searches shared in all care centers operating in Armenia, but no positive answer. We don't think in terms of sphere of influence, we think in terms of the right of each state to protect its sovereignty and territorial integrity. 
Oliver Dignotti, the ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary of France to Eastern Armenia, stated this in a conversation with journalists, referring to the fact that Baku actively buys weapons from Ankara, Israel, and other countries, while Aliyev accuses France of arming Armenia and contributing to the escalation of the tension in the Caucasus region. They also expressed the opinion that the European Union, represented by France, does want to weaken Russia's role in the South Caucasus. And it's actually not only a concern for France. In the past few years, Armenia's neighboring state, Iran, has expressed concern about Armenia's sovereignty and territorial integrity for many times. We disagree with Iran on many issues, but this is one issue that we agree on. And this, in fact, all United Nations member states must agree on this issue, because under the United Nations Charter, all United Nations member states are recognized and must support the integrity and sovereignty of other member states. It is a shared commitment. As for the concern expressed by Baku, they can be sure that the type of the cooperation of the types of equipment that we are providing to Armenia is aimed at the defense of the country. It is purely defensive. Let me give a good example. When we talk about air defense, if you don't enter the air space of Armenia, you will never face the air defense of Armenia. And it is defense uh, capability, said the ambassador. According to him, defense cooperation with Armenia is about protecting Armenia's sovereignty, its territory and people. And it's been made clear from the beginning that everything we supply, weapons, equipment, training, fits that purpose. Cultural genocide in Stepanagert. Once again, Aliyev, who is called the son of a statue because he flooded his entire country and number of places in the world, with status of his father Haidar is killing statues in Artsakh. As reported by the Ombudsman of High Culture, Baku continues to do destroy the statues installed again in Stepanagert and at the state level. Another target of Azerbaijan vandalism was the statue of the great Armenian writer and enlightener Hachatur Abovian. The statue was located in the yard of the school named after the writer. This was all for today. Goodbye. Oh